five minutes and a few seconds. That's how long it took me to build a complete project management system in Notion. And just a few weeks ago, I built this same setup in 50 minutes. Five minutes, 50 minutes, same result. So let's have a look how you can build your laziest Notion setup ever. New and empty Notion page. Let's just paste our manga prompt, hit enter and see what happens. Might have a wait a few moments, but again, there's zero hands on work. So time to read a book. Things are happening. This is actually pretty insane. We have our project database. We have in our project database, we have a duration, property, priority, status, related docs, related tasks. We even have a progress uh, 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 rollup that uh, is not fully set up yet, right? So we again could reprompt it now to fix this, or we just know how to do this ourselves, but we know we need to get from tasks the um, status and we need to uh, show me the percent per group um, completed. And that way we get to uh, our progress here again. So sort of 50-50 whether that manages to do that or not. Uh, but we have our views, right? We have our Kanban and we have our gallery view with uh, showing the properties that we want on there. We actually, one thing that we want to do here, right, is we want to say on edit the property, please show me this bar. Uh, so it looks a bit nicer. Uh, and then we have our tasks with the due date, the status, the project, and the different views that we need set up. Uh, we even have on the project view, right, the grouping by project, which is pretty cool. And then docs, fairly straightforward, right? But insane that this works with just one mega prompt. So let's finish this setup. I just quickly renamed them uh, so we can find them easier because we have so many different project databases in here. What we want to do, right, we can actually uh, remove this heading here. That's nothing we need. Then let's uh, go in here, call this H3, uh, quick actions. Let's go over here uh, with an H3 and call this projects and then hit enter twice, um, drag this line in there. Uh, just add a dot in there for now, hit H3 again, call this tasks and hit enter again. Now in order to pull in, like actually I like, have a little bit more screen real estate, right? I'm going to click on the three dots here. I'm going to say, please make this full width. And then uh, I want to resize the columns because the quick actions don't need to take up that much space. Now for projects, I'm going to type slash create link to your database. I'm going to pick my quick uh, projects from the list. And now we can just pull in one of the views, right? That AI set up for us. So my Kanban view, uh, let's pull that in. That's perfect. I don't need to make any changes. I just want to hide the database title here. And then for a very clean look, we can go in here, say rename, remove the title, just put a space in there and then put our uh, icon for projects in there. Uh, let's make this the briefcase and then we are good to go here. Then for tasks, again, hit enter, uh, type slash create, link view of database, look for my quick tasks, there they are. Now let's give me my uh, open tasks first, right? And I can just rename this to open, give it as the icon, this checkbox without something, right? And then again, click here to hide the database title. And now I want to add another view. So I'm going to click on plus, and this time just quickly zoomed out and added the other two views, right? Super simple, clicking on plus, selecting the task database uh, and choose from our source. And then last but not least, write another H3 for documents. Same game again, create link view of database, search for quick, in this case, the docs, right? In this case, um, I would like to see the docs maybe by, no, actually all docs. I want to just see all docs. That is fine, right? As you can see, we have already a sort on here by last edit time, which means my news documents will show at the top. Hide the database title, um, go in here, right? Get the trick with the empty one, uh, get a nice little page going there, see whether we can hide some of these properties, the project, we don't really need to see that. Then also the vertical scrolling disappears. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Two last things that Notion AI can't do yet, but which are super quick to set up. First, if I click into a project, I want to have a nicer look than this one, right? I want to be able to see uh, the related docs and tasks in a nicer way. So let's click on customize layout. Let's make sure we move all the properties into the panel, click on the heading, I want to pin here the status, the duration, and the priority, and the progress. Let's show it all. And then below here, I would like to see my tasks. So I'm going to pick out of it, switch to tabbed, and then here I'm going to click on plus. Here I will now select my related tasks, and you see it automatically pulled in my task database, 
with uh, all the tasks related to this project. If I want to show and hide certain properties, for example, I don't need to see project here, right? I know that they belong to this. I can hide this and now I have all my relevant information directly here on this page. Same thing we can do oops, for uh, our docs. So click on plus again, related docs. In this case, um, again, hide the projects, uh, hide the last edited time. We don't need to see this. And now we have all our values here. Then we can rename this quickly if we wanted to, right? So we can just call this uh, docs, give it uh, the icon. We will call this tasks, give it, oops, tasks, <laughs> give it the icon and click on apply to all pages. And now when I click into any entry, right, I have this mini dashboard for my projects that shows me all the relevant context for my marketing campaign, right? These are my three tasks. This is my document. We of course also need to reorder <laughs> the, the columns here. So in order to do this, we can actually just drag and drop them right in the, in the right order. And then here where it says quick actions, I want buttons, which again, the AI also can't edit yet, but super simple, hit enter, F slash uh, button. And here, let's say add task, we will add the icon and we will say, when this button is clicked, please add a page to my um, task database. And then what I would like you to do is I would like you to open, let's just move this out of the way. I'd like you to open the task that you just added and click on done. And I would like to do this in the side peak. Click on done, this is good. Now we can duplicate this button uh, and we can say, okay, add project and we will switch this to our briefcase. And here we just swap out now at, instead of add page to quick tasks, add it to quick projects, done. And then we will duplicate this one more time and say, add document. We will swap this to our note. We will swap this to the quick docs. And now we have working UI buttons here that I can click to add a new task. So for example, add project, right? Uh, sample project. Now, one thing that I noticed just here, and this is why you need to then actually use the system to see whether the AI forgot something. It forgot to make sure that we have a default status on our property here. I'm going to just click on this, say edit property and here hover over not started and say, please make this the default. And now every new project will automatically inherit this. And you see right now our sample project starts popping up here. If I added another task, it would pop up there. If I add a task through here, right, new page, uh, sample task, we see it pops up automatically here at the same time. And if we were same status idea here, right, I um, need to edit this one quickly. But if we finish that one, then it also gets set automatically to make sure that we count towards uh, our progress, right? Let's set us to done. And now we are at 100% here. A complete Notion project management setup, but in five minutes instead of 50. Now, what does this mean for your Notion journey? Should you stop learning how to build databases and stuff? Well, of course not. You still need to understand how the basic building blocks work. And more importantly, you need to understand systems because you can only instruct AI to help you do these things if you know the underlying mechanics. It's very similar to vibe coding. The people that leverage AI the best for code are the people who have basic understanding of computer science and know how these things work together. You can then just speed up your workflows because you no longer have to write the syntax yourself or in the case of Notion, because you no longer have to click 10 times to add all the properties. But it also means that Notion education has to change. And I'm very, very excited for this next chapter here. We already have some really excited videos planned here. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. To help you get started with this, I create a simple system that you can use to first go through the ideation process of what you actually want to build. And then it will create this master prompt, right? One on the style that I use in this video for you. You will also find the exact master prompt, right? For this specific build. But again, right, if it's, there's something else that you wanna build, then you can use this to guide you through the questions. And in the end, it will spit something out along the same format as this one, but tailor-made to your situation. To download it, just check out the link in the description. Of course, this update doesn't fix the core problem that companies and teams have when they use Notion. Building a system, right? That is the easy part. The hard part is knowing A, what you should build in the first place, B, how to really optimize it for your team, and then of course, see how to get your whole team to use it. So if you run into any of these challenges, right? Or need then some more advanced things on top, like automations, AI, and all that cool stuff, 
well, you know where to find me and my team. We'd love to be of help here, right? And see how we can make the most out of AI and these really cool new developments in Notion. It will also still take probably a while until Notion AI can really help us with the more advanced parts like automations. So if you wanna level up here, then check out this video next, right? Where I walk you through everything you need to know about formulas and automations. Just click there and I will see you in a second.